how's it guys so I'm in the Pilansberg again it's uh, Friday the 15th of October and I've decided that for the next three or four Fridays I'm gonna drive out to the park and uh, you know just scope things out and get myself more familiar with the park as uh, I hope to uh, you know bring some guided tours in uh, for the rest of the year as well um, it's just gone past uh, seven o'clock and we've already seen Rhino our mom and our calf I got in from Pakaboon gate and I'm just driving on Kugu drive now um, I don't know if you see I've got a new buff guys at the gate are raising funds for the Pilansberg Rhino Trust to try and protect the rhinos and it was almost fitting that you know within a few minutes of entering the park we saw our first rhino and um, yeah they they really need to protect these rhinos like any of the parks in South Africa that have rhinos they are susceptible to poaching and there's been many incidents in the past now we're just coming up to a breeding herd of elephant I'm gonna stop and we'll get some photos but just to complete the intro so I want to start doing you know regular Friday features and I'm not too sure whether I'll just do a vlog like I usually do or add in you know specific uh, reviews or things like that to the video but uh, we'll develop it as it goes along so I'm just going to stop now at the first elephant sighting and try and get some shots off and then hopefully the rest of the day is also good we've already seen two of the big five so let's see what the day holds Rotloko hide and it is very low on the water level I'm not too sure if they're gonna pump in more water or just wait for the rain to fill it up but there's a few stranded terrapins that I see But hopefully they'll be able to make their way to one of these puddles. I think there's a crocodile as well out in that deeper gully.
Hey guys, so I was busy making my way out of the park and came past uh, Tlodi Dam, which is the dam I usually uh, come past first thing in the morning. Uh, and there's three lions on what looks like a fresh kill. I don't know if they made it this morning or last night, but uh, there's a half eaten zebra. So I can see three of them. One's got a collar on, and the other two are just lazing around and fat after eating on the zebra. So yeah, that's a good sighting. Um, oh, there's a fourth lion coming through now. I'm just gonna reposition. This is a young male cub. So, lovely sighting. They're just in the shade of the tree and it's like 38 degrees. So, um, they are struggling with the heat a little bit, especially since they've gorged themselves. Um, but at least they're awake, so and get some pictures of them sitting up and they are not all lying down. Good morning guys. So it is the second Friday in a row that I'm going to be in the park. Entered through uh, Bakabunga again. We had a bit of rain coming in this morning. So uh, some dramatic skies and a few slower spots because it was raining quite heavy but uh, we got into the park around the same time that we did last week so just about seven o'clock I should have carried a jacket it's a bit nippy today it's about 15 degrees outside uh, but yeah when I left home it was actually quite a bit warmer about 21 degrees already I did not check the weather so that was poor on my part but um, it is gonna warm up through the day so should be all right for the most part so getting in this morning we're gonna... Ooh, oh. so getting in this morning um, I'm gonna take a little bit of a different path and approach um, we still entered through um, Bakabung, so it means driving onto Kubu Drive, but then I'm not going to go straight down Kubu Drive today. I'm going to meander a little bit and get back onto Kubu Drive a little bit later in the day again. Last week's decision to come in through Bakabung was perhaps not the right one because the lions were very close to uh, Manyane gate at Tilori Dam but we did get to see them at least so let's see if this week coming in through the Bakabung gate was the better decision and whether taking this um, almost off Kuru Drive very early it's going to be fruitful for some animals like I said last week um, I'm going to be in the park for a few Fridays so this is Friday 2 so let's see how it goes we'll report back with any significant sightings as we see them
guys, so it's almost time to be heading back home on the uh, second Friday now. Today was extremely quiet in the park. Um, I think I only saw two rhino and one elephant close up. There was a bit of a small herd on the one loop, but uh, they were in the thick bushes, so it was hard to get any shots of them. Um, I think with the cold and the wind, the animals were a bit scarce. Um, you don't know where they hide when it gets cold and rainy. But also then there's less of a need to get to the water holes to drink. So they move around a lot less. So yeah, um, Friday number two done in the park. Not the most sightings or the most exciting sightings. Uh, I did hear my first uh, cuckoo. So at least that's a positive. I must just see it the next time. Get photographs of it. Alright, so it's about half past two now. And uh, we on uh, Mankwe Way, so we'll slowly make our way out of the park. I think I'll be out of the park by three o'clock, the latest, and back in Johannesburg around uh, five or quarter past five. So it's the uh, third Friday that I'm out in the park in a row and it's another cloudy start to the day. I've decided uh, this week to come in through Manyane Gate and we are a little bit late because um, well we have load shedding and uh, there was no power until about uh, quarter past four this morning so um, 
couldn't uh, get out of bed and get ready until the uh, power came back and then I had lights so I could get showered and stuff so we are about 20 minutes later than usual getting into the park uh, it's going about quarter past seven now usually be in the park before seven but hopefully you know we haven't missed much um, it's just that uh, yeah it's probably gonna get hot um, later on as the clouds clear up and then the animals become scarcer much quicker so yeah going in through um, Manyani gate which is my usual um, gate to enter by I've been coming in through um, Bakabum gate uh, the last couple of weeks or is it Bakatla gate I always get confused between Bakabung and Bakatla uh, the one is in the north and the one is in the south so I've been coming in through the southern gate on the park I'll uh, put the correct name uh, in text on the video and then um, driving up Kubu Drive and uh, past the Kubu Dam and onto Mankwe Way and yeah it, it wasn't uh, too good the first week we got uh, rhinos and elephants and then last week was very quiet coming up that way it was rainy last week and windy so maybe that played into it but today is also cloudy overcast it's not as cold as last week it's much uh, it's it's much more humid and a bit warmer as well so let's see maybe this week we'll have more luck coming in through Manyane gate So guys, one of the sightings of the morning now is a lion on a giraffe kill. I don't know if he's killed it himself or I don't know if he's killed it himself or it's died and he's just feeding on it. But makes for a good sighting if the people would just stop driving past he looks to have uh, fooled his belly whether, whether it was a kill of his or not he looks quite full so this is a good sighting single male lion so i'm not too sure where the rest of them are but he's actually out in the open so this is going to be a pretty busy sighting for the rest of the day i'm sure so now there's a jackal moving in as well on a kill See if I can get him. This is quite interesting because I don't know if the jackal's actually seen the lion. Well, now he has. So he's making a hasty retreat. The lion's gone and sat behind the carcass now. So quite hard to get a clear shot of him 
let's hope he wakes up and moves again so I moved around tried to get a better angle on the lion but he went to sleep so I'm just gonna keep driving now um, I think that the giraffe did die of um, you know natural causes whatever that may be whether it be old age or some health problems but uh, the lion is being opportunistic and is uh, just gonna gorge itself on what is quite a big carcass um, I quickly checked the sightings um, group and it seems that uh, the carcass was spotted about um, six in the morning yesterday and then the lion got onto the carcass at around 11 yesterday so he's been there basically the whole day and a bit so yeah he's gone to sleep again I don't know if any other lions are going to come and join him but uh, the jackals seem very keen on moving in on the carcass as well and if we're lucky we'll try again later on and if the lions moved off we may get some brown hyena coming through onto the carcass as well so hoping for a brown hyena sighting I think like I've said before I've seen more brown hyena in the Pilansburg than anywhere else and uh, people don't believe me for some other reason because a lot of people actually haven't seen the brown hyena as often or even at all in some instances so um, I'm going to make my way down Kubu Drive and then across uh, Mankwe Way I don't think that lion's going anywhere so we'll touch base with him later on in the day hoping to maybe you know come across um, some of the other big cats cheetah leopards and uh, maybe get some close-up uh, elephants and rhinos but so guys this is turning out to be quite a day actually in the park uh, we've seen two lions or two separate lion sightings and I just stopped now because there's two cheetahs under the shade of the tree here Ah, there's too much grass in front of them to get them properly. Um, so you just had to switch to manual focus there to get these cheetah. So two big cats in the space of about five hours. Um, these cheetah are probably a kilometer away from the other lion which is now sitting under a tree I just went past it again and it's maybe 500 600 meters to the Pilansburg center so quite a good sighting to come across so compared to last week this week has already been such an action-packed day because last week there was I would say maybe two sightings of elephants and that's about it it was really dead and uh, now we've already had three big cat sightings lots of uh, rhino I've seen an elephant bathing across the way at Mankwe dams so yeah this that's how it goes i think sometimes in the park you get days where you see absolutely nothing and then you get 
days where it's action packed like how it is today and you know every 20 minutes you've got another sighting of something okay guys so we've come to the end of friday number three and i'm making my way out of the park as you know after the first uh, friday that doesn't mean that we won't see anything else because uh, we got the lions at tilodi dam the first friday but uh, today has been an eventful one compared to last week's quite uh, well i'd say dead uh, day in the park I think last week the wind got up and that made a lot of the animals more scarce compared to this week where it also started off a bit cloudy and rainy but uh, it cleared up quite quickly and then it got quite hot again so now it's a going about 31 degrees and uh, it's quite humid as well it's just about three o'clock now so I'll be uh, you know out of Manyane gate about half past three and heading back towards Joburg so back in Joburg by about six o'clock so all in all um, I say quite uh, a good exercise you know uh, doing the three Fridays in a row I'm not too sure if I can get out next week because it's Diwali on Thursday so Friday may be busy but uh, let's see we may just get a fourth Friday in a row and you know the sightings over the three Fridays have been quite varied um, I think Pilansburg being Pilansburg you're almost guaranteed of elephants whenever you come here Although last week was quite hard to find them. This week uh, we got close to a couple herds. So we did see quite a few elephant this week. And we saw rhino this week as well. Last week I, I'm not sure if we saw any rhino. You know anywhere close to take a photo. And then today was quite good because... Um, Obviously, the lion at the um, giraffe carcass is almost a, a banker. So, it was uh, first seen yesterday, and he's there. He was there this morning, you know, eating a little bit. And when it got too hot, he moved under a tree and into the shade. And he'll probably pop out again this afternoon and go feed on the giraffe again. Um, there was some speculation that uh, you know maybe the giraffe got struck by lightning which does occur especially when it's um, you know out in an open field because they're so tall they are um, lightning targets and there has been some rain in the park the park is quite wet still so you know it is a possibility But uh, the lions are feeding on the carcass, so lions will take their chance to scavenge if they can scavenge. Um, on the birding side, I think uh, the first Friday I saw what could be one new species. Um, it's a lake tern. I think it's a white wing turn but it was not in breathing plumage so I uh, I need to actually verify that with one of the birding groups and then the uh, sighting today that I was quite excited about is a white-throated robin chat now 
I've seen a white browed robin chat in, in Kruger Park with Prashin, so I just need to go double check my uh, list and if it is not on the list then the white throated robin chat will be my 400th bird oops missed my turn I just wanted to go to Tirodi Dam so make a quick u-turn here so yeah um, if that uh, indeed is not on my list and the turn does turn out to be a uh, white wing turn as I suspect then um, yeah I have just passed 400 birds not many new birds in the three weeks I've been here but uh, you know being sort of my home park I've seen a lot of the birds that are here oh I'm seeing a lilac based roller talking about birds just gonna stop it now Also seeing the return of the European bee eaters so that's a good sign um, so the birding will pick up as the summer progresses um, it's end of October now so a lot of the uh, migratory species are back so yeah uh, I've enjoyed myself this last three weeks I've done uh, three of these videos that I've called the Friday features um, and hopefully, you know, even if I'm not coming into the park, I'll, I'll continue with those. I don't know if I'll be able to do it every Friday, but I've got some time on my hands, so I can uh, attempt at least to keep it going. There's a few more topics I need to maybe cover. And then, yeah, November is uh, picking up in terms of bookings. Uh, I've got I've got uh, two bookings uh, for November, but one in Pilansburg and one to go up uh, together Falls. So so um, I'm not too sure if I can come out. Oh, and then I've also got a wedding at the end of the month. So November is pretty much booked out uh, all the weekends. Yeah, we'll see how it um, how it goes. We if you if you want to join me on uh, these Pilansburg trips, just uh, check out my website. The link is going to be in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll keep uh, you know visiting and trying to see what I can see with each trip. Don't forget to hit that uh, like and subscribe button. I always appreciate the uh, support on the channel and we slowly building up the community. So every new subscriber is much appreciated. Oh, there's elephants in the bush. So yeah, it's me, South African Wonder, signing off on this video which hopefully is then a compilation of three videos but yeah hope you enjoyed it